Russia shows off autonomous killer robot designed to eliminate Western enemies. Killer robot? Is it a robot that kills? Yep, it is no less than that. Recently, killer robots are to eliminate Western enemies. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are back with another segment with the title, Russia Shows Off Autonomous Killer Robot Designed to Eliminate Western Enemies. Let's get started. The risks in Ukraine might be about to increase significantly. Just as the US and Germany revealed intentions to provide Vladimir Zelensky's forces with Leopard and Abrams tanks, Russia showcased a horrifying weapon called a killing robot. An autonomous ground vehicle resembling a tank is called the Marker. But unlike a typical tank, it uses a variety of sensor devices and automation to autonomously recognize targets with missile launchers. According to Dmitry Rogozin, a deputy general director of Russia's Roscosmos, the Marker robot will soon be deployed with the capacity to destroy tanks. According to reports, Rogozin said, for instance, the marker will be provided with an adequate electronic file to identify and kill the US and German tanks with anti-tank missile launchers as quickly as supplies of the Abrams and Leopard tanks to the Ukrainian soldiers commence. Rogozin then asserted that the Donbas area of Ukraine, still being fought by Russian and Ukrainian militias, will receive four marker robots in February. Drone developments in Ukraine have hastened a long-anticipated technological trend that might soon usher in a new type of warfare by bringing the first fully independent fighting machines to the battlefield. According to military experts, combatants, and artificial intelligence specialists, the likelihood that drones will be used to detect, choose, and attack targets without human assistance increases as the length of the battle increases. That would represent a military hardware breakthrough on par with the invention of the machine gun. Ukraine already possesses AI-enhanced counter-drone weapons and semi-autonomous attack drones. Although the accusations are unsubstantiated, Russia, too, asserts that it has AI weapons. However, no documented cases exist of a country using combat robots that can kill wholly or entirely. Mikhail Fedorov, the Minister of Ukraine's Digitalization, concurs that creating completely autonomous killer drones is the natural and unavoidable next step. Ukraine has been conducting a lot of R&D in this field, he claimed. The Associated Press took Fedorov's interview where he stated, I think the possibility for this is enormous in the next six months. In a new interview near the front, Ukrainian Lieutenant Colonel Yaroslav Honchar, co-founder of the combat drone innovation organization Aerorozvitka, claimed that human combatants could not comprehend data and arrive at choices swiftly as machines. Although things may change, he believes Ukrainian military officials now forbid using completely autonomous lethal weaponry. We haven't passed this boundary yet, and I say yet because I'm unsure what will occur later. Honchar, whose organization has led drone innovation in Ukraine by turning inexpensive commercial drones into deadly weapons, stated Russia could be able to get autonomous AI from Iran or somewhere else. While terrorizing citizens and crippling Ukrainian power stations, Iran's long-range, exploding Shahed-136 drones are not particularly intelligent. Iran claims to have more drones with AI in its expanding arsenal. According to Western producers, Ukraine could easily transform its semi-autonomous weapons drones into independent drones to better withstand battlefield interference. These drones include the Polish Warmate and the American Switchblade 600, each requiring a person to choose targets from a live stream video. AI completes the task. The drones, officially called loitering munitions, can linger over a target for minutes while waiting for a clear shot. Let's pause and let you guess whether you know a killer robot can be you. All you need to do is kill all the enemies inside you and shine bright. That was indeed a motivation. Kindly like, share, and tell us the enemies you have inside you in a comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Freedom Fast. According to Wahid Nawabi, CEO of the company that makes Switchblade, the ability to accomplish a truly automated operation with Switchblade pretty much currently exists. 
He estimates that it will take three years for policies to alter to do so and eliminate humans from the judgment process. Using catalogued photos, drones can already identify objects like armored trucks. However, there is debate about whether the technology is trustworthy enough to guarantee that the machines won't malfunction and kill civilians. Neither one answered. It could not even be a first if either side launched a full AI assault. Killer robots allegedly debuted in the internal conflict in Libya in 2020. When Turkish-built Kargu-2 drones in full automatic mode killed an unusual number of fighters, according to an ambiguous UN report from the previous year. The report, according to a spokeswoman for the maker STM, should not be taken seriously because it was based on speculative, unconfirmed material. He informed the AP that the Kargu-2 would launch an attack when the commander commanded it. Fully autonomous AI already aid Ukraine's defense. The Ukrainian military has received drone hunting devices from Utah-based Fordham Technologies, which integrate small radar systems with uncrewed AI-powered helicopters. Without human intervention, the UAVs use nets to destroy adversary drones identified by the radars. The quantity of drones with AI is increasing. Israel has exported them for many years. When waiting for an anti-aircraft radar to turn on, its radar-killing harpy may hover around them for up to nine hours. The Android Technique business and the Advanced Research Foundation worked together to create Marker. The system contains Russia's most cutting-edge item recognition and independent mobility capabilities, weighing more than three tons. Russia reported that the prototype Marker Robot Fighting Vehicles construction was finished last month. Importantly, the robot was developed as a robotized testing ground for combat phase robots currently in the conceptual development process. The Marker Combat Robot can autonomously investigate terrain thanks to its mounted Autonomous Aerial Vehicle UAV, and advanced armaments a flexible hyperspectral vision system that utilizes neural network techniques to handle data ensures the product's autonomy. The robot can prioritize targets on its own, as Rogozin has indicated. Let's say it saw a T-64, an APC, and some other hardware on the line of contact, he continued. Depending on the most important, the robot will choose a target autonomously and strike it with the proper firepower. In approximately one second, the marker combat module can rotate 540 degrees. The component can be outfitted with various anti-tank missile systems, rocket launchers, massive machine guns, and other weapons. Rogozin underlined that marker comes in two different forms. The drone and sensor-equipped scout are meant to be useful spotters. He promoted additional anti-tank missile-armed models as an alternative to Leopard and Abrams tanks. Beijing's Blowfish 3 uncrewed armed helicopter is another such. Russia has been developing the Poseidon, an AI drone with a nuclear tip. A 50 caliber machine gun the Dutch are testing gun-equipped ground robot. Poncher thinks that if the Kremlin possessed unmanned killer drones now, though, it would have deployed them in its attacks on Ukrainian people, which have demonstrated little concern for international law. We wanted you to know about the Western enemies. Do ping us in the comments section if we need to include any information. Also, click on the subscribe button for regular updates. We will be back with another video soon.